Music production refers to the entire life cycle of a piece of music from songwriting and composition through recording and sound design to mixing and mastering. This week on The Process, we reveal this creative process. Nisi Imano with more. In the sprawling suburbs of Nairobi's Langata Estate, we visit Buen Eve Studios. Uh, right now we're in the studio, and studio entails a lot of things. As you can see, you, you might think these are decorations. These are not decorations, these are acoustic forms that are used for, at least we, to reduce echo. Between, the, between this and the main wall, we have another treatment. We put something called rockol. Some people put foam, and then you put gypsum, and then you put this. This one is just to reduce echo. But the main uh, soundproof is behind this at the gypsum. Studio gear are the main tools used in this production process. Well, these are MIDI controllers. Some people will call them keyboard, but they're not keyboards. These are MIDI controllers. The control sound that we have on our door, door is our digital uh, software that we use to record. We have so many kind of those softwares, but as we use the one that is called Logic, and then of course a computer, studio monitors, sound card, and that's our booth, <laughs> where there's microphone and our musician thing from that side. The song production process involves different kinds of sounds and instruments. So what is the first step in the music production process? It comes, we create from nothing to something. So we started by listening to his idea. I captured it immediately. I had to look for tempo. Tempo is the speed. Every song has, must have a constant speed and ta or time signature. In music, they call it time signature. So we, we look for the time signature. Some songs call for outsourcing of live instruments. At some point, we usually outsource now live instruments because when you put, there are some songs, if you put live instruments, it gives it gives the song very very good classical sound. But does everybody who comes to the studio qualify as a musician? There's some who have money, but they can't sing. And even if you train them, you take them to school, they can't sing, but they're passionate about it. And that those who are just gifted. They come the first day, you listen to them, uh, you're like, hey, we're working with this one. <laughs> Again, they don't struggle. The process begins when the producer meets with a musician in studio. Today, this singer is doing his own rendition over him. I have blessed the Labriat and Souls of all, so I go by the name Realman Redemption International. The songwriting can happen before or after the artist comes to studio. How I write my music? Uh, I really don't write my music uh, at, at, at home. Uh, I, I, I love writing my songs in studio because being inspired while the producer is, is just playing the keys, the keyboards. The producer then sits down with the artist to get the general idea of what the singer wants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is this uh, old version song mm -hmm. The producer kickstarts by finding a tempo. <laughs> the tempo gives the song speed. <laughs> Next, the producer finds the chords that will be a bed on which the instrumentation is laid. Okay, so we try get Sometimes the song would demand for extra help from another specialist. The, the other producer, so he came to help me to put some drums. After that is done, the vocals are added. Yeah. The singer's voice is captured through the microphone. The audio file is then brought to the sound card. It comes as an analog, but the sound card changes the sound itself to digital through their computer software. <laughs> The 
This fine to the process, everything is considered as a demo, meaning there's room for more changes to be added to the instrumentation and the beat production. The first instrumentation was the keyboard, the piano sound, actually layered. Layered is whereby you mix more than one instrument at the same time, and then you play on the keyboard. So I layered an uh, electric piano or e-piano. I layered piano itself, and then some strings. Next comes the mixing. Mixing means positioning each and everything where it's supposed to be. You know, every instrument has a frequency, making sure that every instrument falls in the right frequencies and then also falls in the right position. After the mixing is done, the song is mastered. Making sure that every voice sits in its position. We pan. Like here, you see, we are panning left or right or center, you get it, you see. This one is when we pan at the same time. We, get, you see, we use some plugins also just to make sure that our voice sounds the way we want. Mastering is the final stage in the music production process. And then we have a song. Mm. After the song has been mixed and mastered, the product is now considered ready for market. Reporting for KBC from Langata in Nairobi County, Amnisi Imano.